All right, hello everyone. And this will be my last Dust Warriors 5 stream. I'll be streaming Destiny Mode. Yeah, I forgot this had a little tutorial for it. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but essentially you make a character, and I like how their character in the tutorial is just named Joe Musso. <laughs> uh, you make a character, and then we have to go through and obtain skills, even though these quote-unquote skills are like basic combo attacks. Like having a moveset better than a peon. Uh, we have to pick someone we serve under in a force, obviously. There's a few other things I guess we'll just get into as we get to playing. It's, it's extremely basic. Now, I decided I'm going to make a female. So here to try and bring an end to the chaos. Yes, you appear to possess considerable talent indeed. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Man, it's weird to see this guy and he's not talking about bodyguards. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you guys can come up with a good name for, like, a female character, go for it. What name do you go by in this world? Uh, what name do I go by? I forgot they ask you that immediately. Two people saying Ranmaru. I guess I'll start typing it out and see if a better one comes up. Yan. Redo Mount Key? No. I've already played it three other times before. Like, I have other videos for it. Yang Yi. <laughs> Dong to no. <laughs> Alright. I think that's one, unless something else is more amusing to me. Dong Tuna sister. Dong Tuno. <laughs> See if I can fit that. Ah, just enough. Perfect. It was meant to be. Oh, now Zhao wants to go back and say Zhang Chenhua. Unfortunately, I love this name. Forgive an old man for asking, but what gender are you? <laughs> I do like how the old guy is just like, forgive me for asking, but what gender are you? <laughs> like his eyesight is that bad. Hmm. Could you please describe your facial features? The music is a bit too loud for his voice. It kind of drowns him out. See what options we have for hair. Uh, I'd be down for the ponytail if it had, like, bangs in front of it. Uh, I guess we'll go with this. None of this is really screaming to me. Uh, let's see. And the face. That's the one that matches it, which just has a scar. Uh, I guess the tattoo is sort of non manish isn't it? I'll go with this. Uh, do we want her... ...incredibly stocky? And tall? As a non man would be? <laughs> Or something that's not ridiculous to look at. Now everyone's saying a bunch of names, but I've already decided. Giant woman, thick, yes, no fatties. <laughs> She's not fat, honestly. Like, her waist is still pretty pretty thin. Alright, we're being a massive woman. What would you say your voice sounds like? <laughs> That's a weird question to ask someone. What would you say your voice sounds like? Can't you hear me talking to you? Out of 
my way. You're in my way. Okay, let's see. Spirited Relaxed Innocent. We essentially have Soon Chang Chang, Jinji, or Xiao Kao. Vic from For Voices. Uh, I don't really care one way or the other. Spring cats and just screaming. <laughs> uh, someone said innocent. All right, I see a couple innocent, so we'll go with that. What type of weapon are you most familiar with? A uh, sword, spear, or pike. Uh, I I'm honestly not picky about what weapon type. I can pretty much make anything work. I I do hate having to wait for the stream chat to uh to catch up. Innocent sounds like dodgy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same voice actor. It's Stephanie Shea. Gay. Have you say her name? Back to back, I saw Pike Sword Spear. <laughs> Alright, I'm seeing more pikes. Finally, whom do you wish to serve? Yeah, who we serve, uh. Determines the color we have. Honestly, I think Wu looks best, but I'm pretty sure we already know who I'm going to be serving. Because this was something we had discussed earlier. And most people wanted me to serve Jinji. Uh, sure. that potential is all up to how you live your life. It will be interesting to see how you choose. A dong to know. <laughs> okay, I do start with some skills. Which, this is basically mandatory. You're just able to use charge attacks. If you don't buy this skill... You're stuck with just square attacks, and it's terrible. Uh, ah, oh, damn, I have to buy this one first. Okay. I thought I already had this one, because it was, like, a different color. And we don't have a Muso, don't have Rage. All this other stuff is pretty much secondary. Oh, yeah, we need a skill even to be able to mount a horse. Uh, you start bare bones, you are essentially a peon. And I believe we have to unlock our outfits. We can change our color. I guess I'll make her purple, just because I like that color a bit better than the blue one. And it matches her tattoo. Sure, let's save this abomination I created. We shall join the coalition against the Yellow Turbans and march on their base in Xi. Our target is the Yellow Turban leader, Zhang Zhao. The Yellow Turbans are mere peasants who cannot hope to compete against our elite troops. Once we finish them, the land will come to know our names. Ah. So you are the latest to come and serve me? To serve in Zhenji's army is to know honor. I trust that you will not hold us back. We must eliminate the enemy officer. No matter how strong our opponent, we cannot let them gain the advantage over us. Go and make me proud. Let us get going. I do not want you to hold anything back for this battle. I will be keeping my eye on you out there. Well, frankly, I'll be hard to miss. I'll be towering above everyone else. Oh, right, and you get, like, points for doing these menial objectives. But you can only mark a few of them. That's just win in seven minutes. And that's don't fall below 40% health. Uh, I guess I'll try that. I don't want to have to search for letters. 
Our weapon is a bog standard pike. Free power. Weird having Jinji in a Yellow Turban Rebellion. Dongvo, Soonjian, and Huangpu Song are all underneath he Jin. And then Jinji gets to be her own officer. It's so awkward. There's only two enemy officers on the map right now. I'm pretty sure more up here. And we have some just generic ass lieutenants to fight underneath Yang Men Chang. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived. Try not to get too excited. Oh no, we just defeat Zhang Liang. Stay by my side. It's actually not a bad idea to stay next to your commander. Because I can fight a lot better than you can right now. Also, I have a tendency to steal kills from you. Enemy it's like I have Lou Mean's moveset right now. Or a similar moveset, at least. The jump attack is definitely Lu Ming's. God, I don't even have a charge three. Well, I, yeah, I do. I have that. That's the charge three. But it's not even a combo. You see why I don't like playing this mode? Like, you you start off worse than a freaking level 1 character. It's abysmal. This 3-hit combo is the most I can do for square strings. Lumine's Dynasty Warriors 2 moveset. Yeah, it feels like it. This is terrible. Ah, and it's a vertical attack, so it's hard to hit. Jinji, protect me. <laughs> Mom, beat them up. It looks like you are in need of this more yep. than I am. <laughs> You're right. Uh. Yeah, you show him. Enemy officer defeated. We have no choice. Retreat. After them. This is our time to show what we can do. <laughs> Captain, just like I told you to pick the sword, but no. <laughs> to be fair, by the time you said to pick the sword, I had already picked the pike. I didn't want to spend too long in the character creation because that's boring to watch. Oh yeah, your commander has a different dot on the map, They're like a, a teal color, which is sort of interesting. And you get some extra points for, like, tactical KOs. That's what it is in, like, the middle right of the screen. But I don't... I'm not able to use any tactics, so... That's not really a thing I can do right now. Now it can feel like a peon does. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to feel like that. Like, it's not fun.
And I'm glad it's just one officer. Or just Young Leon to fight. Retreat. We cannot afford a defeat at this stage in the battle. After them. This is our time to show what we can do. Jinji <laughs> continues to be bloodthirsty. No escape, no mercy. Who gave you permission to go out and do as you please? You told me to go after him! God, imagine having to fight, like, Commander Zhang Zhao as this character right now. Also, despite making her, like, big and stocky, like, Jinji is taller still. Maybe it's just the weapon or something. Like, if I were to equip Sao Rin's weapon, I'm sure I'd feel, like, minuscule. Alright, let's go beat up the boss. Don't get stuck on the stairs, please. They're not that hard to operate. I hate charge attacks that just cannot hit. I don't know where Jinji ran off to. Damn. Yeah, I didn't realize it'd take this long game. Guess I should have done the, uh, the letter mission. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> A most pleasing result, if I do say so myself. Oh, Shane Zhao is actually on the map. You just have to go top right to fight him. Why? for just an ordinary soldier. I suppose I can allow you to be promoted this once for your efforts. I applaud your efforts and wish for you to have this flute. With this, I am sure that you can create beautiful melodies on the battlefield. Thanks, but I don't really want to use your weapon. That said, I might since it's really the only choice I have. Alright, yeah, just more combos, please. Now, should I save up, or... Nah, I guess I don't really need a horse right now. I'll, I'll get the life in the fence. Uh, yeah, nothing to change with the appearance. to strike Yuan Shao at Guangdu. Although their army is large, with that fool at the helm, they do not stand a chance against us. What a time skip, Jesus. Once we defeat Yuan Shao, we shall conquer the land from the central plains to Huabei. It is time to finally bring an end to this relic of the old world. We are going to take out the enemy base. 
the world is better off without those unsightly buildings. Let us hurry and deal with them before my eyes begin to hurt. The enemy is constructing a supply base. If we destroy it, they will lose their provisions and we will have gained a tremendous advantage in this battle. Let us get going. I do not want you to hold anything back for this battle. I will be keeping my eye on you out there. Also, shouldn't you, like, be on their side, Jinji? Okay, enemy KOs, I can do that. Be victory in seven minutes, let's not even try that anymore. Guard Captain KO, uh, that can probably do that. Yeah, I guess I will be using the flute, because it's just better. I need to take what I can get right now. I forgot the character you, uh, work under also gives you weapons. I may have considered working under someone besides Gen.G had I rem remembered that. Wait, Dion Wei? How are you alive? No officer for Yuan Chao. But we just need to take that one base at the top left there. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived. Now he walks so daintily. Like how the catapults are perpetually firing despite like only allies being around. Also, when you have the same weapon type equipped, man, you can tell how uh, tall and stocky she is compared to Jinji. Alright, come on. Let your AI figure out where to go. Well, we heading to Wu Chao? Not opposed to it. It's probably ideal, honestly. That massive kick. She's a barbarian, but she's like being taught how to be refined by Jinji, apparently. Wait, is it the hardest destiny mode path? I didn't know the others were any harder or easier. I did not play this mode much, because as I've said many times, I do not like it. I wanted to jump out of that, but that peon wasn't going to let me. Show. Didn't realize you just came into the base after us. Do you, do, you, do you maybe want to help with this? Indeed. Help. And I really don't like not having a Muso. Enemy officer defeated. 
<laughs> Took out Winjo. We cannot sit around and rest all day. On to the next objective. Didn't expect me to use this moveset. It's not my choice. Lieutenant apparently gave up on life. Just letting those peons kill him. It takes so long to do anything. Enemy officer defeated. I really hope Southside doesn't get himself killed. I realize he's fighting an officer down there. Really hope I get a pike or a sword or really anything after this. What Jinji's doing, I guess just fighting some random ass peons. Why did Lieutenant catch fire? I have occupied Finally. result if I do say so myself. What was wrong with you? You should have performed much better out there than you did. Please do not let me down like that again. I don't know what I did wrong, but okay. May I borrow a moment of your time? I will teach you something useful. Okay, now just sit back and relax. <laughs> this is how you set something on fire. <laughs> Damn it! Six points away from a Muso. I guess I'll take the extra hit. And I have some armor now, so I guess we're wearing that. Liu Bei is the only man worthy of being compared to me. 
With the one known as the Sleeping Dragon joining him, it will surely hinder our plans for conquest. I can never escape Cheng Ban, can I? Before he can gain a land to call his own, we must eliminate him. Everybody, begin your march on Nanyang. Liu Bei has drawn his last breath. Wait, what the fuck is Nanyang? This time, our orders are to eliminate the enemy commander. Such a mission would be difficult for any normal unit. Let us go and prove that we do not suffer from such mediocrity. The enemy is preparing a large number of ambush units. The cowards refuse to engage us in a fair fight. We shall make them pay for such rude behavior. By setting them on fire. Prepare to move out. With our combined strength, the land shall learn the extent of our power after we emerge victorious from this battle. I don't think I've ever heard of the Battle of Nanyang. I mean, apparently I have because I've played this in the mode as way before, but... Uh, it, it's just Shoppy, is what it is. Now, how do I even use fire? I, it looks like it's already equipped. Oh, and I have to defeat Liu Bei, alright. Oh, I'm glad the game reminded me. I gotta have to actually tick these. Uh, Officer KO can probably do. Maintain health, I don't trust that at this point. Victory in 12 minutes. I can probably do that. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Did it really need to be two, three gate captains? All right, I think these can actually drop weapons. Maybe. I just stand still, and then. I'm not playing with fire. This is an actual fire attack. Seriously. All right. If I recall correctly, I believe these like tactical KOs get you a shit ton of points. I missed the fire orb. I hate not having it. It's like, why juggle enemies if you don't have the fire orb? Yeah, and where is, there, where is our next objective? I guess we're just heading straight for Liu Bei, I assume.
Please have a weapon. Damn it. Okay, I can just set every base on fire. Nice. That certainly helps with clearing out bases quickly. I didn't know if it was like a one time per battle thing. And I did all the work, but yeah, sure, whatever. Sixty-nine tactical KOs. I cannot get any more. Oh, you get them from supply captains? Those things I haven't even seen? Great. I noticed South South was under attack. By Shang Fei, great. Hopefully you won't get his ass kicked. Oh, hello, Jiggly Hong. Let us go and greet them. They fell right into our trap. What's this? The cowardice of an ambush just sickens me. Oh, there's a spy captain. They've arrived. We cannot let them get by us. Didn't realize I jumped out ahead. Wow, and Liu Bei has come out to attack, too. Actually, yeah, uh... Fuck all of this. Bye. Going back to my commander. It appears the enemy is not without some skill. I have a mission for defeating officers, but I'm not sure if lieutenants count as officers or not. Retreat! It's too early for us to surrender just yet. After them. This is our time to show what we can do. Enemy officer defeated. Here. It looks like you are in need of this more than Damn I it. am. Eh, whatever. I want the health. Another annoying thing is that since you basically have to rely on your body- on your, uh, commander, you have to fight, like, every single peon just to get them to move with you. This entire mode is just really awkward. Now we know where the enemy is hiding. Enemy officer defeated. You please just forget about this one guy. All day. On to the next objective. Now, begin the attack! Hey, don't scare us like that. And now Jinji's chasing, like, a group of peons, and will not proceed towards Liu Bei, and ah. Uh... Pointless to go any further. We must withdraw. After them. This is our time. Why didn't I get a speed up? Everyone else in my unit did. <laughs> Yugi Leon just bails. Liu Bei is right there and he just left him. So I'm running off in the distance. We 
Cannot let them get by us. Enemy officer defeated. I don't know where Shinji's going off to. You can see your dot on the map. They've arrived. Let us go and greet them. Oh, now you're back. Want to show up like you're the big damn hero all of a sudden? Alright, I think I've still got like three minutes left. For that one objective. Shut up, you you. Enemy officer defeated. All right. <laughs> A most pleasing result if I do say so myself. I'm aware I don't need to say by her, yes. It's just helpful. Such an amazing feat of strength. Your powerful yet understated might is enough to take my breath away with its very beauty. <laughs> Wei Yan's weapon. Alright. Ew. All right, guess we're using Wei Yan's move set now. I mean, appropriate. Oh, thank God, Muso. All right, I guess that's good for now. advance on Chi Bi in order to eliminate Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Although we cannot afford to be arrogant about our army's size advantage, it should prove useful. We shall teach them that the land belongs to Kao Kao. Now hurry and crush this pathetic alliance where it stands. Go! Go! Bring honor to your lord! We must eliminate the enemy officer. No matter how strong our opponent, we cannot let them gain the advantage over us. Go and make me proud. Prepare to move out. With our combined strength, the land shall learn the extent of our power after we emerge victorious from this battle. Honestly, the best thing I can tell you about this mode is that there's a lot of uh, dialogue in it you won't really hear anywhere else. Tactical KOs, I could do that. And Alistair KOs, I can also do. Use fire attacks more. I used them on every base I entered. I don't know how I'm supposed to use them more than that. And there's no... <laughs> doesn't look like there's any bases here. Damn it. I shouldn't have played way. How can I kill Saimao now? Oh, there's Yuga Leong down there. Weird that I could see him when I need to... Oh, okay, I misread it. I saw Commander Zhou Yu up there. So I thought that was Zhou Yu in the bottom left, but my target is Yuga Leong. So it was odd Zhou Yu was a commander. It looks
Looks like the time to make our move has arrived. Now we like look what we fight like a bar like a barbarian. You won't get by us without a fight. I mean, I believe that you didn't have to activate times to attack. Okay, that time I got the speed up, which is nice. And now that I have a Muso and a weapon that doesn't suck, we cannot sit around and rest all day. And actually play this like it's a proper Warriors game now. Why did you say it like that? You still killing son of a bitch. Trying to show off for your wife. Well, so am I. How did I play Dungeon Warriors 4 Hyper? I don't know. I downloaded it from somewhere like forever ago. I would just Google it. You could probably find it somewhere. Oh, Joe Yu's over there. All right. Do I win if I beat the commander? Doesn't say I do. I'm actually just curious what happens if I beat the commander. Another thing I'm not really a fan of with uh, this game type is like basically the same reason I don't like empires. Just not much happens in the actual battle. It's just a lot of silence as you're going from officer to officer. There's no substance. <laughs> Freakish strength. Yeah, Xu Xing gets to live. 
Mm, maybe not. I figure I should try and get as much ESP as I can. Oh, just fire at that triggers, huh? No comment on it or anything, just Huang Gai and Ching Pu suddenly appeared. I guess I could go up there and stop them. Yeah, I guess I'll go and do that. Uh, it's gonna take so long without a horse! I'm literally just, I'm holding the controller with one hand and checking my phone with the other. Get a horse? Yeah, where? <laughs> the only way I could start a stage with a horse is if I bought the skill. Which, uh, I do not have the points for because I needed to buy, like, the mandatory ones. Like, the ability to have a Musou in a Musou game. Glad my health isn't draining just from being here. I don't think you can even just get a horse in the middle of a stage. Like, not even Joe Yu, the commander, was on a horse. You know I'm the one fighting them, Cao Cao. Eh, the lieutenants can go. I do not feel like hunting them down. Get those for this. Did I already do them? Tactical KO. Wait! I picked the tactical KO objective in a stage I can't do tactical KOs because there's no fucking bases. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, Huang Gai is a horse. That's surprising considering he rode here on a boat, but whatever. Oh, what? They can win? I didn't... A most pleasing result if I do say so myself. So you can't even, like, go around the whole stage and get EXP. I, I really don't like this mode. I'm gonna try and get some ESP so we can like build up for the next stage. Because Jin went and won, I got a minuscule amount. But she somehow impressed. Understated might is enough to take my breath away with its very beauty. I don't want your flutes! Ah, and it's like ah It's good too. Damn it. Ooh. <laughs> Show you was impressed with me kicking his ass. So I could just outright defect and suddenly I'm part of Show Yu's forces. But uh no, I'm not gonna do that. Letter you tore it was discovered by Cao Cao. So, the enemy has come to steal away one of my most trusted lieutenants. Perfect. What do you say we use that to allow you to infiltrate the enemy camp? You will pretend to go and serve them and join their ranks. When the time comes, you will rise up and turn against them. Can you handle this task? Now, this is something I really hate. Because the game loves to uh, give you these freaking... Defet... Defetch employees. But, like, what that does is it makes it where you play, like... Half of one... Uh... Destiny mode path, one of, one of the forces, and then you play the other half. But, like, you're not... Underneath the officer you want to be under, so, like, I just... I don't like to do it. of your loyalty being tested. Ah. Either way, so be it. And I hate saying no to him because he's so disappointed with you for it. But no, I want to stay with Wu. I picked Jin Ji for a reason. I, damn it, way. Alright. What do we get now? I could buy the horses. Let me on the orders button, prepares an ambush. That would all help for like tactical KOs. And there's interrogate and scout, and that I'm not really sure if those are worth getting. I'm gonna get the horse stuff first. Just so I can get by faster. Yeah, I'm aware there's a lot of nuances to this stuff and the game just doesn't tell you any of it, so. Our army shall meet the Shu army at Hanjong. This land is vital to Wei. We must defend it with our lives if we are to continue to fight this war. In this battle, we will defeat Liu Bei, and he will yield to us. We shall show him that the land has no room for the likes of him. We have orders to rescue an allied unit trapped behind the enemy lines. We cannot allow our friends to continue to be seen in such a state of weakness. The enemy has deployed its best troops for this battle. However, we are not going to let them just do as they please. They will have to answer to us first. 
prepare to move out. With our combined strength, the land shall learn the extent of our power after we emerge victorious from this battle. Okay, are there actual bases? There are, so I can get tactical KOs. Not sure if I can get 30, though. Go with enemy KOs and officer KOs. That's that's pretty safe. Oh, I can select one more. Uh, well, hell, fine. Let's let's look for some letters. Protect Shahu you won for a set amount of time. So I guess this stage is going to be ten minutes long, no matter what. Uh, her her flute is better, but. I don't want to use it. I'm sticking with the uh, the Strike Bulge, even though it has less attacks. It's weird her objective is to protect Shao Yuan when Cao Cao is already on the map. This is no good. We must help them immediately. Wow, what a shitty horse. Doesn't he have a fancy saddle or anything? And of course, when I decide to bring a horse, I encounter an officer that has a horse immediately that I could just take, and am in fact going to. Also, give me your spear thing, your Volge. I like how Pain Day is on a stage where you can actually fight Ma Chao. there on our base. We have no choice. Retreat. Pursue them. We must keep up the attack. Nah. I'm just going to fight Ming Dai cuz he's right here. Until he tries to retreat as well. That's also something really annoying. Like basically every officer has tried to retreat. Destiny mode would be better if they explained some things. I, I think they need to fix a lot more in Destiny mode rather than just explain. I hate to admit it, but we must retreat for now. Pursue them! We must keep up the attack! Enemy officer defeated.
I know there's a base in the middle here, but it's like not controlled by anyone for whatever reason. You cannot sit around and rest all day. On to the next objective. Really need Macha off that horse, thank you. Surrounded now. I hate to admit, but we must Running away again. After them. I mean, it is Ming Da, but. Even you shall return after them. This is our time to show what we can do. Not what I need right now, Yu Ying. Stop. Don't think I have interim saves here. We need to fall back and regroup our forces. After them. This it's like all that effort and they just don't want to let you have credit for actually beating them. So they just fucking bail. off to. They all ran down here, didn't they? This takes so long and it's so goddamn tedious. They just got taken out. Go any further. Retreat. It's too early for us to surrender just yet. After them, this is our time to show what we can do. Enemy officer defeated. And Junji is apparently getting her ass kicked. I guess Shahi One is in danger, which means I can't get credit for any of those kills because they just keep running. Yeah, go somewhere safe. I look away for five seconds and our HP just keeps dropping. Lei Tong had three morale. How did he manage to kill Peng Day? Oh, did Peng Day have zero morale? Now Yu Yin's back, and she's recovered. Here, an 
It looks like you are in need of this more than I am. No, I think you need it more than I do, honestly. We're in trouble now. Damn it. I gotta stand next to show you one or he might die off screen. And Hal's already almost dead. Engine G is almost dead. I was already lost. <laughs> now we know where the enemy is hiding. <laughs> A most pleasing result, if I do say so myself. Oh no, I failed to get the letters. Lieutenant General, and another Moon Flute. I don't want those. Another letter? Again, woo! No! A lot of people want the Dong Tuno. Alright, what else do I have? Letters can be found in enemy soldiers other than messengers. Able to learn enemy base info when near and radius to spot enemy units increases. Can spot enemy traps and ambushes. That's not really vital. A good interrogate. I think that'll pay off. I don't think I need scout really. Hold down the orders button, prepares an ambush while pushing it again, activates it. I guess I'll try that, sure, why not? I can no longer let Wu's meddling at Hei Fei go unpunished. We do not strike Wu down where they stand. We shall regret it for years to come. First, we must take back the area north of the Changzhang from those fools that would oppose me. Prepare to march. We must strike without hesitation. We are going to take out the enemy base. The world is better off without those unsightly buildings. Let us hurry and deal with them before my eyes begin to hurt. The enemy is preparing a large number of ambush units. The cowards refuse to engage us in a fair fight. We shall make them pay for such rude behavior. Do you think you could do a favor for me? I hate for you to get your hands dirty. But can you set an ambush to deal with those pesky enemy troops? I guess you saw I bought the ambush skill. Enemy KO, I can definitely do. Guard Captain KO. Should be able to do the tactical KOs. I think Ambush you can just do whenever. Yeah, and I'll stick with the Strike Bulge. What's our objective here? Uh, take the base on the complete opposite side of the map. Great. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived.
Now, what is the orders button? Select? Yeah, it's select. I do wish I had a better move set than this than uh, Wei Yan's. Like the uh, the break dancing C three is a lot of fun, but I don't like that his uh, charge five you can't really combo with. Oh, I got a blonde haired horse now. That's neat. Okay, so I thought ambush was just like you summon troops around you. I guess I have to like lure enemies to a specific spot in order to do that. This enemy base. This details the inside of the enemy base. Yeah, it's weird attack bases have uh, gate captains now. Okay, I guess I can't wait on a horse. I have to be on foot. This details the inside of the enemy base. I have occupied this enemy base. Notice there's a dot moving on the map. I'm hoping that's a, uh... No. Alright, chill out, Taishi T. I was hoping it was a supply captain or something. Those guys that drop, uh... Drop weapons. Okay, everybody, you can come out. Why you? 
A true warrior would never attack an unprepared opponent. Begin the retreat. It is too early to give up. After them. This is our time to show what we can do. Ah, it was most brilliant for them to ambush us here. Enemy officer defeated. If you say so, Luming, I'm just pressing the select button over and over again. To think that one could surpass the best Wu has to offer. <laughs> Modest much, Taishi C. Oh, nice. We got to hear uh, my character's line for it. Now we know where the enemy is hiding. Rather than Jinji just taking credit for it. Here. It looks like you are made of this more than I am. And you really see how much the fire orb does when you don't have it. We cannot sit around and rest all day. On to the next objective. Here they come. Tighten your defenses and let them have it. Of the enemy base. Excellent work. Now we know the layout of the enemy camp. Okay, everybody. You can come out now. I should have been able to spot this ambush. I think the benefit of uh, doing ambush is that it makes all the enemies you're fighting count as tactical KOs. In addition to spawning a bunch of troops from the ether. Casually defeat the commander now. I believe collecting all these uh, infos actually does add up to your score at the end.
God, there's so many officers over here. Play soon, Kwan's or commander or something. Okay, everybody, you can come out now. This is the last place I would have expected for an ambush. Doesn't help that this move set doesn't really have a great uh, Muso to combo with. I'm gonna die at this rate. Alright, never mind. I don't have control. We cannot sit around and rest all day. On to the next objective. Bye, Ponjong. Wow, that almost hit. Huh. Yeah, I think that's a glitch. That you can apparently set fire to the base by rubbing up against the uh, the gate. I'm not playing with fire. This is an actual fire attack. I don't believe that's intentional. Because it doesn't feel like something natural you're supposed to be able to do. I saw people mentioning that. <laughs> A most pleasing result if I do say so myself. The regal dress. All right. Now we can fight with nunchucks. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Sky piercer. All right. Hell. Suddenly this got fun. <laughs> wow. Fucking Ganeng is just sending like a fucking love letter. <laughs> it's actually kind of adorable, but no. Alright, now let's buy that six hit. But yeah, I don't think I need Scout to reveal. What is Pierce? Arrows can pass through multiple times. That worthless. No longer stunned when hit by arrows. Enemies are frozen with regular arrows. That's okay, I guess. None of that I really need. I'll save it for now. Maybe I'll get volley or something later. Now, what was the regal dress I got? Sure. Why not? We're more refined now. As we stomp the enemy with Lu Bu's moveset. So, Shu has prepared an army to challenge for the Wu Zhang Plains. Oh, we're here now! <laughs> Shu reeks of desperation. Let us go and put them out of their misery. Victory here shall realize Zhu Geliong's vision of three kingdoms and ring in a new age for the land. Let's go. It's time to show them the extent of our power. This time, our orders are to eliminate the enemy commander. Such a mission would be difficult for any normal unit. Let us go and prove that we do not suffer from such mediocrity. 
mediocrity. The enemy is strengthening its defenses. What could they be up to? It's not going to be easy to gather intelligence on the enemy now. Prepare to move out. With our combined strength, the land shall learn the extent of our power after we emerge victorious from this battle. Yeah, I guess so. I just died. Man, that means that the fetch employee would have went on for so long, he would have died before you saw it through and defected in the final stage. Uh, defected back in the final stage. Uh, let's see, I guess Officer KO's Guard Captain Tactical, yeah. Fucking Sky Scorcher, a uh, Sky Piercer. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived. We must defend this area with our lives. <laughs> It appears the enemy is not without some skill. Suddenly this has gotten a lot easier. I hate to admit it, but we must retreat for now. After them. This is our time to show what we can do. Enemy officer defeated. Officer defeated. I actually don't like doing this because it means you have to, like, not get pushed out by the guys attacking you. Is it is faster to do this though? I'm not playing with fire. This is an actual fire attack. Seriously. Although that line about fire attacks is getting really old really fast. But there's no reason to not do this to like every single base. Uh, the character sounds like Guan Yin Ping. Yeah, same voice actress. Wow, that lieutenant got shredded by arrows. And me. Don't pull back now. We won't be able to hold on much longer. After them. 
We shall run them through. We cannot sit around and rest all day. On to the next objective. Enemy officer defeated. I'm assuming the weapon also affects your running speed because uh, I'm running as fast as Lubu does now. Ah, uh, that means if I use Pain Day's weapon, it'll be slow as hell. Oof. Wait, I'm just watching from afar, being genuinely impressed. Guess I'm just letting Jinji go her own or her yeah, sorry, her own way. Who do you think you are? Oh hello. You'll not get anything out of us. Okay, fall back for now. Retreat is always a viable option. After them. He sounded so cocky at first. And the moveset makes a hell of a difference. That was just a cakewalk. Destiny mode took longer than I thought it did. I think I'll be able to start with just Destiny mode, because I think I have one more stage after this before we fight Wu. That'll be around two hours. Which is basically my minimum. Yuga Leon says nothing, just immediately starts attacking.
Definitely hits hard, though. result if I do say so myself. Such an amazing feat of strength. Your powerful yet understated might is enough to take my breath away with its very beauty. May I borrow a moment of your time? I will teach you something useful. Okay, now just sit back and relax. It's nice, that was a skill I was considering getting. Why do so many people want me to defect? Lushun, again? Take a hint! No! The game really wants you to switch sides, like a lot. Goodbye Rage, but like... I don't really think I need that. I had to get a Rage token, wouldn't I? Uh, let's see, advance. When riding at full speed, enemies can be taken out with one hit. That's... whatever. I think someone was saying March and Rally was good. When moving, the speed of you and your allies can increase. When in battle, the attack ability of you and your allies can increase. I guess I'll go with Rally then. Uh, health hasn't really been an issue. Uh, this might be the last stage now that I think about it, yeah. So I guess just get whatever, huh? Uh, sure, level 2 health. Why not? And Pierce. For all those bow and arrow attacks I do. Alright, I'll change out the regal dress. Alright, I think that looks okay for the three parts I have. Standing in our way is that pesky kingdom of Wu. We shall seize Sun Quan from his hiding place in Jianye. If we emerge victorious here, then the chaos will have been ended by the hands of Wei. It's time to go. Soon the cow name shall be feared across the land. <laughs> the cow name. <laughs> this time our orders are to eliminate the enemy commander. Such a mission would be difficult for any normal unit. Let us go and prove that we do not suffer from such mediocrity. The enemy has deployed its best troops for this battle. However, we are not going to let them just do as they please. They will have to answer to us first. Everything you have earned so far is due to you serving beneath me. If you wish to thank me, I ask that you go and ensure our victory in this battle. So this is supposed to be Gianye, I guess. And that's basically Wu territory. I guess Gianye is a part of that? I don't know. I don't know the geography of this place. All of those skills. Objectives. I don't think the objectives matter at this point. But why not?
Yeah, I don't really care about getting any cosmetic sets by playing Destiny mode. It looks like the time to make our move has arrived. If I want created character, I just play Empires, where all this shit is available from default. Or if not available from default, a hell of a lot easier to get. And not as annoying to actually do so. We must hurry. They're shooting just panicking. Did he get caught in the fire attack? Oh, how poetic. Yeah, he's at like less than half health from that. Nice. some skill. Ah, uh, that had dealt so much more damage if I had the fire orb! I like how Volley is just giving me a barrage of uh, arrows after every single charge attack. Like, it doesn't do much, but it's something. It's kind of interesting to see, actually, because that function gets reused for, like, Sekon in Samurai Warriors games. That's one of the uh, buffs he can apply to himself. Although in his case, I think it's, uh, it can be upgraded from arrows to bullets to cannons. Uh, yeah, I guess if the, uh, if the ice arrow buff applied to volley, it would actually be pretty useful. I didn't even think about that. Oh, and I guess my horse is white now. Wait, that dropped something? It dropped arrows, great. Just what I wanted. Sourin, seriously? The final battle, you go out like a bitch? 
We really had like the Jin G crew for this stage. We had Saopi and Saorin here. Although admittedly, Saorin and Jin G don't really talk in uh, Dashi Warriors 5. But they're friends in 4, and then that's pretty much it, I guess. Need any supply captains anymore, do I? This details the inside of the enemy base. Probably go and help Jinji before she gets herself killed. There's some morale for everything in this. Jinji's morale is alright. Same as the enemies. But her troops are still dying. This mode's take on Heifei Castle, because it's playing the Heifei Castle theme. Uh, yeah, it's sort of a downgrade. I don't know why they didn't just use Heifei Castle, honestly. Wow, that bot's had a had a meat button in it. Not used to getting healing items from those. Soon Kwan says nothing, no lines or anything. Most uneventful final ball Soon Kwan. Although he does have a lot of officers around him. And my Muso is really big. I'm just noticing. I do not have much in the way of defense. Yeah, it frankly doesn't even make sense that there's one here. Pushed them twice. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> A most pleasing result, if I do say so myself. with your grasp of strategy have you always possessed the ability to make those around you look so foolish i am somewhat envious oh great a moon flute get out of here 
Well, fucking <laughs> Zood C's weapon now? Wow. This character has the two best weapons. That's insane. Or two best movesets. A date of birth and death unknown. Dong to know. After choosing to serve Jinji, you demonstrated many amazing feats in battle. You soon became Jinji's most valued officer. Demonstrating amazing feats of strategy and defeating countless enemy officers, your tactics have become legendary. Dong to know, your most impressive battle achievement occurred during the Battle of Wuzhang Plains. Hiding with your troops, you suddenly led an attack against the enemy, catching them by surprise. This changed the outcome of battle in your favor. Your tactics during battle were so destructive that even the enemy, Zhuge Liang, commended you. I don't recall him doing that. Wu did it all the time. Dong Tuno was proud to serve Jinji. Jinji believed in Dong Tuno's abilities as a tactician and regarded Dong Tuno very highly. Always contributing to the army's victory with excellent strategy, Dong Tuno has been named Strategist. <laughs> sure. I just kind of attack things, but all right. I, I guess you do have to be a good strategist to ambush the enemy in their own main camp twice. <laughs> strategist ranking. <laughs> Register as one of my edit officers. Sure, why not? I'll make one for her. Only have one weapon. Well, I did use Lubu's weapon, so... Alright, well, that, that's it for the stream. I now actually have someone knocking on my door, so. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.